But you can take just press the everywhere. Oh, it's, it's already recording? Okay. It's already recording. <laughs> then you can take still shots of everybody. They like to put it, uh, they, they like, like a reminder. So, Supra Crystal playing here. L4, L3. I'm going to go between L3 and L4. See? Yeah. That's you felt a pop? Did you hear it? Yeah. yeah. It was. Those of you at the back didn't hear it, perhaps. You will feel it, don't worry. Very subtle. There. So this is the rate at which normally CSF should come out. In case in an actual situation CSF does not come out, there are three or four things you can do. One, you can ask the patient to cough gently. When you cough, what happens? The intraspinal pressure increases, then CSF starts coming out. If that doesn't work, what you can do is you can gently rotate it in the longitudinal axis without going in or out. Sometimes what happens is a small filament of tissue may block the opening. So when you do like that, then CSL comes out. And the third thing that you can do is, you can take the syringe, you can insert it here and you can aspirate gently and you'll see the CSL. So you, these are the three things that you can do in actual situation. So once you've collected the CSL, what we don't have here is uh, the manometer. There's a, that's a separate, uh, we didn't order for it or whatever. It's a long burette with graduated markings on it. It's got a three-way stop cock. You can connect it here. And the recording of that will be the CSF spinal manometer. You can also take a sample of CSF for your diagnostic purposes. And after you've done that, again, reinsert the... <laughs> <laughs> you can reinsert. You have to reinsert the stilet. And with a little counter pressure here, just pull the seat things straight back and then we put a tincture benzoin seal or autologous blood graft here send the patient put the patient flat for 24 hours so it looks simple when you do it you'll find there'll be problems does you will matter, hit you will hit the bone does it matter which way the bevel is when you put it in <clears throat> in other words does the bevel have to be pointed up down no here because we are going absolutely horizontal okay. it doesn't matter it's only when you're doing a vein puncture then the bevel has to be up because you can see this is how we do it right. but here it doesn't really matter so this is the procedure and uh, so you've recorded it so you see the procedure this is oh, no, I can see yeah. Yeah. trying to go through oh, yeah. 203 that one mm -hmm. this one right yeah so let me see where it's it is a Look at the precision. Oh, he wow. got it! Oh. First try. Oh. That's because I've got a general oh. idea which axis to take. <laughs> oh, I did it! I, got, I did it! I've got the feeling. <laughs> so, because see, I'm standing there and I'm guiding I, your I fingers. So I know which axis to 